Yeah! Good day, good day. Glad you guys are here. We got a great show for you today. Uh, we got some people from Zappos today, Startup Weekend. We're going to have a great time. Um, but first of all, I don't know if you guys have been uh, on social media or turned on a TV in the last 24 hours, but the big news right now is uh, these racy photos that Kim Kardashian did with, with Paper Magazine. Has anyone seen these yet? Has anyone seen them? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, I feel like uh, they used three or four gallons of, of, uh, of cocoa butter to, to, put the, to put over that, that lady's badonka donk. Anyways, um, Kim Kardashian's butt is so big. How big is it? It's so big that three congressmen had to resign because they couldn't cover it up. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. Kim Kardashian's butt is so big. How big? Kim Kardashian's butt is so big that the European Space Agency landed on it earlier this week. Okay, that wasn't as good. But did you guys, did you guys hear about the uh, European Space Agency, um, which is the uh, kind of like NASA, but you, they fly on the left side of the outer space. Uh, anyways, so uh, earlier this week, they landed on a comet that was 510 million kilometers away from, uh, from Earth. And back in America, we made Doritos flavored Mountain Dew. So let's hear it up for USA. USA, USA. Anyways, thank you guys so much. You did a lovely crowd today. Let's give it up for our wonderful DJ, DJ Lenny Love. Welcome everybody to the Downtown Podcast. Thanks for joining us live audience and thanks for those who are watching or listening back home. Now you might be wondering why I'm wearing a mustache. I'm actually gonna take it off because it feels really weird. But this is actually, really weird. Um, <laughs> and the thing is I can normally grow a mustache but it looks kind of pathetic. It doesn't fill in properly. So yeah, it's really sad. It's really sad. So and moving on, this episode is actually focused around Movember which is a wonderful cause and charity that we'll be talking about. And so, um, this is why we have the mustaches going on. So I'm here with Tyler for our community segment. And Tyler, you're a fun engineer at Zappos, right? Which is the best position I've ever heard of. Yeah, it's a, it's a really a hard job at Zappos. Uh, <laughs> fun engineering is tough, so. You get to come up with all the cool stuff that we get to participate in, which is awesome. And so you, you, you do that by day, but you're also actively participating in Movember, which we'll talk about in a second. Yeah, you can um, tell because I've got the, I'm growing a mustache. It was really fast, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's grown so fast. So um, when, when you actually got involved in Movember, you've kind of seen this grow over time, right? And, and the thing is that I'm not sure whether you're even aware where Movember actually started, though. That's the only problem. Do you know where Movember started? I do, actually. So the reason why I asked you is because I'm just trying to show off the fact that Melbourne in Australia, my hometown, was the one that first had a Movember, right? Is that correct? Uh, well, no, that's not correct. Uh, <laughs> it actually started in Adelaide, which is, um, is, is close. It's still in Australia, but they right. started the tradition. But Melbourne okay. actually created the... Um, the foundation. So um, they had the idea, but uh, you're right. You guys can take credit for actually putting the work behind the idea and starting the foundation. So. I feel like that sounds a little more legit, right? Like we yeah. actually did the hard work. We didn't just grow mustaches and kind of like come up with the idea. <laughs> well, I mean, everybody has to capitalize on somebody else's hard work, right? <laughs> right. Okay. So <laughs> enough about hipster Melbourne and everything. But you know, it doesn't matter where it started because the U.S. has a really good chapter, and Las Vegas has a, a particularly inspiring chapter. And you're aware of the story of kind of how we've grown in that aspect, right? Yeah, it's actually really cool. Um, so November has been in Las Vegas for um, quite a few years. Uh, it's been a very low participation city uh, okay. for a long time until last year. All of a sudden, poof, it was like this huge explosion of of. Uh, of Movember interest and participation and awareness. Um, last year, which is really cool, um, Las Vegas was the highest growth year over year city in the entire Movember network in the entire world. That's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy, right? Uh, awesome. That's all of a sudden, Movember was on the map. So I think that's a huge, a huge thing for the community. Um, and I think it's 
directly responsible, the community is responsible for fostering the environment that that could happen in. So, um, so what do you think actually like happened? Like, you know, there's always been people that live in Las Vegas, but like what has been the difference in the community aspect behind growing that so quickly? Well, I remember when I was first exposed to Movember, um, I had no idea what it was. Um, and I went to this little um, final Movember party in at the downtown cocktail room. Okay. And it was really sad. There was like 10, 15 people there. Aww. Uh, and uh, but it was cool. I was like, wow, this okay. is neat. Movember, uh, people are growing mustaches, which is cool. And then um, at that time, downtown Las Vegas was really just starting to get a hold of the momentum of everything starting to happen down here. Um, and I think what was happening is the, the groundwork, the foundation was being laid uh, for an environment that could foster a huge explosion that happened last year. Um, and I think last year was just such a crazy explosion year because um, all that, all the, all the groundwork that had been laid was 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 ready, and it was actually pretty easy for it to to do its thing. And so that's why I would I would say that we were the largest growth city um, in the entire November network uh, was because. Um, it was actually pretty easy to get the ideas around and, and bump into people, and people were like, "Tyler, why is there no f hair on your face?" You know, and that's as, that's that's what it's all about is starting that's the wonderful. conversation. That's really cool, and it's a great testament to how you know community growing in Vegas is is about a lot of things. It's about entrepreneurship. It's it's about um, just networking and things like that. But it's also about helping people for a cause and, and actual finding the deeper meaning of community as well. I think that's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. So the one question I have to ask you, though, is that this isn't like a mustache. It's kind of more of a beard and it looks very established, right? And so, so I'm the worst. The I'm, I'm the worst a mo bro that there is. <laughs> I, uh, I hate shaving my facial hair off. I actually, <laughs> uh, I, I do everything I can to avoid it. And last year, Aziz was like, hey, Tyler, I would like you to participate in some way. And I said, I haven't shaved my facial hair in 13 years. I don't even know what my upper lip looks like. 13 years, people. That's insane. Yeah. And it's probably changed in 13 years. My upper lip probably is like something that's really weird. <laughs> it's gotten like long and droopy. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he said, well, what if I set the, the price for your, must, for your facial hair at $2,500? And I said, uh, yeah, that's fine because nobody. We're not going to raise twenty five hundred dollars for my <laughs> facial hair, and of course, in one hour they raised one it. One hour. People were that desperate to see this beard disappear. That's they that's hate crazy. it. They just hate it. I guess. <laughs> so what was that like? This was last year, right? Like, what was that like? Uh, I actually lost all of my self confidence. I did not know who I was. I really couldn't look at people in the eye anymore. Uh, it was actually a really horrible uh, experience, but um, it was all for a great cause. Um, but I would say that's the point, right? right. Uh, the point behind it is it got me in a very uncomfortable, vulnerable state, which mm -hmm. is what men's health is all about. Absolutely. It's uncomfortable right. to talk about. And that's what November is about. It's about raising awareness for men's health issues, um, for the particular vulnerabilities that men go through with their health. And, and forcing them in an already uncomfortable position where it's easy to consider those kind of things, right? Yeah, I mean, it's not just about, a lot of people say, Movember, oh, it's uh, testicular cancer. Mm -hmm. um, well, that's just a part of it. It's um, depression that uh, a lot of men uh, suffer. It's going to the dentist, you know? Things like um, men, I don't know what it is, but we don't like to go to the doctor. Right. Uh, we hate it. And well, you're uh, socialized that you're just meant to be tough enough to just never need any help, right? Yeah. And, then, and, and what happens is, Movember offers an opportunity for those conversations to happen because it's, I've never seen you with a mustache before. What's going on? Or I've never <laughs> right. seen your upper lip before. What's going on? And it starts those conversations uh, to raise the awareness about those uncomfortable conversations um, for people to have. So I would say I celebrate Movember in a much different way by auctioning mm -hmm. off my facial hair. Um, but I think it accomplishes the same goal. Absolutely. We lose so many men a year in Nevada as well due to um, depression and, and anxiety and other related mental issues. So it's a wonderful thing to highlight. And I love that Las Vegas and the downtown community especially is, is kind of showing that inspiration to other cities to kind of try and match us or better us to, to move this forward. That's awesome. Yeah. And uh, on that note, um, 
Last year, actually, I have to say this because um, Zappos is owned by Amazon, but <laughs> last year, Amazon, uh, Zappos, our largest team, ro uh, raised, uh, raised more money than Amazon's uh, largest team. So uh, I think that's awesome. huge. And, and you know, that's why we do it, because it's all about competing with Amazon and making sure we're better. Right. So I mean, I mean, I will, I will be, I'm not the first to admit that the only reason why we invite them to our donut eating contest is so that we can then beat them and just, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And, and also, the one thing you didn't question bef uh, be answer before we finish out is what's the bounty on your beard this year? It's five thousand dollars. So uh, five thousand dollars. Last time I checked, the uh, November numbers were getting really, really close to that. <laughs> so it's probably coming off in here in a couple days. So <laughs> you guys won't see me for a while. I'll just stay home. <laughs> well, my commiserations, and thank you so much for coming on and talking about this. And uh, don't go away. We'll be back after the break. And thank you so much, Tyler, for being on the show. <laughs> it's my pleasure. Thank you. Yeah! All right. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah. Welcome back to the show. We are here with our sponsor segment right now. We have uh, Claudia and Michael from Startup Weekend. Um, it's great to be on the show. Thanks for thanks for being it's here. It's great. It's great. Let's talk about Startup Weekend. What is it? What what do you what do you do? So for Startup Weekend? it's uh, 54 hours, of an entire jam packed weekend where we make ideas happen. I don't know what that sound is, but it might be the sneaky llama in the audience and <laughs> yeah. just trying to build up community and trying to uh, invent and kind of like make a lot of like the entrepreneurial spirit, the risk takers, take advantage of that with Startup Weekend. Okay, so you said 56 hours we have to start a business. So, so I'll go why over, do we start I'll with go that? over the outline yeah. really quickly. So okay. it's 54 hours. It starts Friday night, starts so at 6.30 o'clock. I mean, a couple 56, extra hours, whatever. that's fine. Yeah. Um, Commuting. So it starts at 6.30 o'clock in the afternoon, it's at the Innovation Center, which is a really awesome venue. And the idea is that anybody who has an, an idea can come and pitch it. So okay. you want to build, I don't know, a llama company, you want to build. Well, a, a, we were talking about it. You did have a, uh, an idea to yeah. like really pitch. Like, what were you trying to do? I, I want to race llamas. Well, how Race do you get in that business? How did you think, come up with that well, idea? I, I don't know. That's why you guys are here. Well, yeah, okay. like we we kind of like help build that. We pair you up with mentors, different coaches, a bunch of different people in the community to kind of help support you and really make that happen. Okay, so okay, so we pitched the idea to a group of people. How much time do we have to pitch? So you have sixty seconds to pitch. It's cloudy in here. That's a thunder. <laughs> Sorry. It's a thunder. thunder from down under. <laughs> it's a hair, isn't it? It's a hair. Okay. How about that? Yeah, that's it. All right, we're good. Oh, yeah, we found did. it out. So you have, you have 60 seconds to pitch the idea. Once everybody, there's about 100 people who participate in this startup weekend. Once you've actually pitched your idea, you get a big postcard about four feet tall, and you walk around the room and you have to convince everybody else to, to you know, to work with you. Okay. Do you need a developer? Do you need a marketing person? Do you need a designer to work on this llama idea? And so you get sticky notes. And at the end of the whole, the whole thing, um, we, it usually windows down to about 10 teams. And those 10 teams work on their idea on Saturday and Sunday. That's where the coaches and mentors come in. We have coaches and mentors come in from the community. It includes a lawyer. It includes a marketing person. It includes um, designers. It includes all these experts, entrepreneurs. Um, okay. We have a really cool entrepreneur coming in. His name is Henry Lee. And he did a awesome. Kickstarter cam campaign. Uh, he raised eight hundred thousand dollars for three D printers. And he lives just Ooh. down, you know, down in Vegas. Okay. Um, so he'll come in, and mm -hmm. what what coaches will do. But yeah, like let's let's talk about it. Let's let's really kind of right, like talk about, talk about kind of like your idea. Like you're really into this llama racing business, you know? We kind of want to make it happen. Okay. So so talk to us about kind of like how you're going to go about that. Are you looking at franchising, starting up in Argentina? Or are you trying to do it down here? We'll we'll see how it goes the first one, right? And then maybe we'd like to grow, of course. But just, just like, just like the the horse track, just with llamas. Yeah, That's yeah. A, okay. But like, are you gonna drag race? Come on, like we have. Well, to they're gonna, they're not gonna dress up in drag, but they're gonna, they're gonna be, <laughs> they'll, they'll have a, just like you know, maybe we don't like a hundred yards, and then we just race them. I don't know okay. who's gonna ride. Oh yeah, something like that. So like That's skateboards like or like sleds. Feet. They oh. have feet. Paws. <laughs> Hooves. <laughs> Hooves. Uh, yes. I'm not in the llama business. Okay, I'm all right. still learning. So, yeah. but we're we're here to make it happen. Get you the right marketing team. Get it established so you don't have like all that paperwork taken care of. Okay, so so, just making so it how does the pitch? How does the pitch win? How does the pitch? Because you have so we now have ten groups. There's hundred people. There's ten yes. groups of ten. 
But wouldn't everyone just vote for themselves and then it's like a deadlock <laughs> at, at one? So there, uh, the weekend's paired up with like 100 people. We're trying to get 150, so we're trying to promote it and get you guys all down there. We even have a promo code for you, Podcast uh, 30, for being here. Uh, just letting you know, but we'll say that again a little bit later. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, yeah. <laughs> but we we really want to kind of like uh, promote it and like get people to kind of advertise their idea and then the people in the room really make it happen and vote on the ideas that really kind of move forward within the weekend. And it really is about like building that community sense. Uh, other places around the world have their own startup weekends. We're building it up here in Vegas with the whole entrepreneurial spirit and everything that's really kind of uh, inventing and recreating here in Vegas. Awesome, awesome, great. Okay, so then what's the next step after that? We get, you get the pitch and you win, then what happens? Lunch. So, okay, <laughs> so this happens all before lunch. Yeah. All this stuff happens yeah. before lunch Saturday? Yeah, Okay, that's so true. then we have, we have a good meal. And then, and then everyone is involved in helping yeah. the startup, right? Is that how it happens? That's how Hopefully it works. Hopefully if they didn't die before lunch or anything okay, like yeah. that. We, we make sure that we oh, have wait. like our medical team and medical staff there just in case. Some people know how to do CPR. Myself, I'm certified, you know. Just got to make it happen. <laughs> Sorry, go on, continue. Sorry about that. Yeah, okay. It's the beard. No, <laughs> it's because I, I didn't grow it. Yeah, you dressed up well for, for November. Thanks. Oh, um, <laughs> He's making me feel bad. <laughs> Okay, so after lunch, what happens? Real quick, sorry. Really quickly, just uh, towards the end of the event, if once everybody's formed a team and they've built something, either a mobile app or a llama business, um, they yeah. present the idea, the, their final workings to a panel of judges. And so okay. uh, we have a winner. We're actually printing out 3D printing, printed uh, trophies this year, which is really cool. All right. Um, and so. So there's a ca there's a cash prize for first, second, and third. Is what there, I saw. Is awesome. there is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, UNLV is doing a great sponsorship for the event uh, with Startup Weekend, and they're giving out uh, cash prizes for first uh, through third place. So it's kind of like a little bit more of an incentive, other than just taking that risk and really kind of starting up something and creating it for the weekend. I mean, who doesn't want to start up their own business in a weekend, man? Yeah, that'd be fun. a lot of fun. Okay. So how do you register? Where do you go? You go to the website uh, startupweekend.org. Go to lasvegas.startupweekend.org okay. and just click the registration link. It gives you a full list of the schedule. It gives you a full list of all of our coaches and mentors. And, and definitely, if you guys are interested, just let us know as well. Okay. Um, hit us up on, on our Twitter, Startup Weekend at Vegas, um, or our Facebook. All right. And then there's a promotion code. What was the promo code? Promotion code before we go? Yeah, it's podcast30. Uh, so write that down. We'll tweet it out after this. Just follow us on um, just Twitter, Instagram, yes. Facebook. You know, and, uh, we'll tweet it out for you guys. Uh, but just remember podcast30, uh, and you guys are in for a 30% discount. All right. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for coming, guys. Yeah, All right. Next you. up, we're going to have the greatest mustaches you've ever seen before, all right? After the break. with the main event. So we have located the best mustache in all of downtown Las Vegas. And this wasn't an easy process. Went through many rounds and you, my friend, <laughs> are the winner. So that is the best mustache that we could find. Yes. Thank you. Um, actually, can that. we have makeup come out here and just touch that up one little bit while I talk through it? So this is Paco Alvarez. He works at Zappos. And you might remember him from one of the earlier episodes because you are a historian downtown and working in Zappos. Um, and then Aziz, I'm new to meeting you, but you mm. are running the entire, um, I guess, group or whatever it is inside Zappos. Uh, yeah, I'm, I guess, uh, Zappos self-appointed chief Movember guy. Oh, self-appointed. <laughs> self-appointed right That's there. I, I think too. highly of yeah. myself. That's how you become host. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing. Um, <laughs> anyways, okay, so uh, I guess you probably noticed I'm not participating. So, really are you even old enough to grow no, a mustache I, or a beard? <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, I'm kidding. we're going there right off the bat. That's it for poor. I, I know, we did. I, I had to say it. You know. um, but it doesn't mean that I love prostate cancer. It just means I am neutral, right? That's still not a good answer. I <laughs> yeah, I just don't know how it all works. So if you want to sign up, join any Movember team, start your own team, it's simple. Just go to Movember.com. Uh, it'll auto-direct you to the United States, and you can you know, click sign up, follow the process. If you have buddies that are doing it already, great. Join up with them. You know, Start raising as a collective. If not, uh, become that one-man mustache show and just go rock it. Um, can I use this to make friends? I hope so. It's, it's, okay. it's always good to have a buddy with a mustache. So okay. in a fight. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, these protect you? Oh, because he looks so tough. Then people 
more scared of you. No, it helps that. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'll go to the website. Um, it's obviously too late, right? It's never too late. No. You can well, do it right now. I yeah. Still be in. Yeah, you don't. I mean, you don't have to start the first to, to go. And if you want to grow, join up now. Start growing. Uh, if you have a friend who you want to support, it's okay. never too late. I see where this is going. There's no more excuses. <laughs> you guys think I? You guys think I should do it? Yeah. yeah. Oh boy. So tell me, I'm going to do this to explain what I'm doing. What is all this stuff and um, how does it work? Well, I, I started growing my mustache uh, November 1st of last year and I did not shave since. Uh, though my beard would have been a lot bigger. Um, I had a little bit of an accident with the blade guard on my <laughs> you know, which was, and I ended up shaving it almost all off, except for the mustache. Okay. And I have uh, put out a challenge to Aziz that uh, he asked me how much would it take or how much money would they have to raise for me to shave the mustache. And I said $100,000. They could raise $100,000, I would shave everything. I was going for five grand. So yeah, well, much, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm a high-end bitch, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm not a cheap date. So if they can raise 100000 Trying. You know, we really are. We can use your guys' help. <laughs> Interestingly enough, I have to say, um, prior to me working at Zappos, I was completely clean shaven. Uh, having uh, facial hair in my previous place of employment was kind of looked down upon, even though we didn't have any policy on it. And then all of a sudden, I go to Zappos, which is a, a very fun working environment. Guys are a little bit more loose and stuff like that. And I was, right. Well, not loose. Well, <laughs> let me we take that back. Loose. Hold on, let me I take that back. Take it that way. So, so you pause. yeah, well, you know. <laughs> like and I, you know, you know, I'm a zeitgeist. You know, I'm a product of my environment. And I, I said, well, I'm going to grow my facial hair. And then all of a sudden, I was sitting on the sofa and I was playing with my mustache. And I thought, what is going on here? And, and I looked in the mirror and I said, I could actually grow a, a handlebar mustache. And I started gelling it. And next thing uh, you know, yeah. I, I looked like a hipster. So it was pretty cool. Okay, so that that's what I want to talk about next. Because if I'm going to join the club, I'm worried I'll not fit in. So what's the like how, how do I be like inside baseball with you guys like when when it comes like what are the <laughs> styles I mean there's all kinds of mustaches so we have the handlebar the I call this one the Super Mario this um, one? Oh. Yeah, or that one right there yeah we've got the Chaplin slash Hitler you can do there's the food <laughs> you can chew <laughs> To be real here, if you rock a Charlie Chaplin mustache, we all know what people are thinking. Um, I'm on, I have the novice mustache right now. I've been growing this since I was 13 years old, and I'm hoping to get there this year. That was last year. Yeah. <laughs> so those are. <laughs> okay, so there's, so there's a bunch of different styles. What um, what can I anticipate as far as? Uh, like feeling tougher or beating a up. lot of confidence. Okay, the so ability to go up to strangers and just be right. like, "Hey, man, nice mustache," and they will say, "Thank you, sir," and you'll just walk them along, you know, really? doing your thing. Lots of confidence building. I don't feel nearly yeah. as confident as I do without a full grown so mustache. Do you, do you think Paco was telling the truth when he told me you got a free beer for wearing a mustache with this? I can believe that. Yes, actually, uh, I was in New York in August, moving my mother from New New York uh, to Las Vegas, and there are bars in Williamsburg, which is like hipsterville. They will give you a free beer for having a handlebar mustache. Really? It's unbelievable. I couldn't believe it. You yeah, know. It's like a yeah, <laughs> you know, in New York, yeah, especially. That is amazing. Those I, you know, I got to tell you something. I've, I've always been someone with very low self-esteem, and, and when I started growing this, and the compliments I get from both men, women, and, and, and children, you know, the kids love it. They're like, look at the kid, look at that mustache, so cool, you know. I was, like, so excited. It makes me, you know, I've, I've always either been too skinny or too chubby, and, and I, I never considered myself good looking, and then I've got this thing going on, and all of a sudden, you know, I'm, like, yeah. cool, you know. It's like, all right. Because yeah. I want it to be real fun right off the bat, but I got to go through like a phase, right? <laughs> and what's the typical yeah. phase before it's cool, before it like looks good? Oh, um, I think if you can commit to four weeks, it's going to look glorious. Yeah. Uh, you know, the first week you're like, this is okay, I have a little stubble. The second week, you know, it's like a little gerbil living on your face. The third week, you're like, what the hell is this thing? I want to shave it off. <laughs> By week four, you've committed to your mustache, to your beard. Okay. Um, you're ready to rock. Okay, so it's a four-week endeavor. I think so. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm excited. So why do I have um, so many... Things here. So growing a handlebar mustache in Vegas is a nightmare. And, and the reason why is because you actually have to use wax to keep this up. There's more wax in my mustache than all of the, the, cath, uh, all of the candles in a Roman Catholic basilica. I mean, it's, the, I mean this, but in Vegas, yeah, you can. Oh, that turned me that on. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a lot of wax. It turned me on. Do that again. Okay. 
Oh. <laughs> anyway. Oh, sorry. oh, and then he messes up. No, so anyway, um, <laughs> it's, Vegas is hot and wax melts. And so you have to experiment with all different types of waxes. So this is what you, you can get Clubman uh, in the local store. This is another type of wax. But ultimately, I settled with the best wax in the world, which is the Firehouse brand, which is tacky. It is made in Mississippi. And it was created by a fireman who has a handlebar mustache. And because Mississippi's hot and humid, he invented this stuff. And it's 12 bucks for this little can, but it's the best in the oh, world. Oh, sure. And you fireman. just have to um, experiment with it, because in Vegas, it's 110 degrees out. And you're, after you play with the, the wax, it's, your mustache starts mm -hmm. melting. It's a hot mess. So. Um, but it this takes. Fireman's just saving people with handlebars. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. Yeah. This, I, got I really, yeah. I really am excited <laughs> about this guy, Perfect and it's a ma green. made in the USA. You know, which is awesome. Um, and then, of course, I do beer scent for the you know kind of quasi decent beer that I have. You know, yeah, it's oh, apples. Beer scent. That's a smell. That's like yeah. A, no, absolutely. A you want to smell it? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's totally. you know, and I use pomade nice. too. I use pomade in this hair, but this a little gimmicky. You just smell yeah, you know. But you smell you, it all this, right? Yeah, you know? and this smells like coconut. Oh, it's it's wonderful. Wonderful. Yes, wonderful. You can get high off this stuff. <laughs> so. All right. <laughs> so how do, what, what, where do I go? Like, what's the website? Call to action for Force Me, but everybody else. Uh, just go to Movember.com and click sign up if you haven't already. Okay. Uh, it's It'll find Vegas for you, and it's super easy. Now, how many people have you got? What's that? Oh, that's a mustache on your shirt? I was trying to look like Paco earlier. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then how many people at Zappos do you have doing it? Uh, right now, I think we're at 150 people. Uh, hoping to pass 350 this year. That's so crazy. Yeah. And awesome. And it's a, it's a, it's a. I'm so scared. And like, <laughs> I'm just going to do it. And like, just do it. Yeah. The only way you'll know what it's like is if you try. <laughs> That was supposed to, I don't know. That's not to, I'm sorry, you give me like this dead talk, eyes look. You talked yeah. 300 people into it? Give me, give me your spiel if I was a Zappos guy. Like, oh, I'm just trying to fit in. I'm an intern. <laughs> I'm an intern. Like you guys. Uh, <laughs> I can't do this. I feel bad if I do that to an intern. Yeah, grow a mustache and we'll fire you, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> I would scare, I would scare, I put the fear of death into an intern, like, just for fun. Okay, thank you guys very much for your time. Really Thanks appreciate so much it. for having me. Yeah, totally. I'm going to get in trouble. Grow a stash. Grow a stash. <laughs> See you in the next couple weeks. I'm going to do it. Thank you appreciate guys. Talk to me and do it. All right. Appreciate it. Vegas tech, 